They better mind the arena wall flame as they can be very, very dangerous. The arena flipper comes into play when a robot's immobilized. A bit of extra insult to injury to be flipped around the arena. That's the pit. Don't want to be going in there too soon. They've got to look out for the blasts of fire from those flame grills. They can do a surprising amount of damage. You don't want to get too close to the corner patrol zones. Once you're in there, it's more pain than you can handle. Three, two, one. Activate. The crowd are waiting for something to happen here. The steel armor giving it some protection from the impact. The steel armor giving it some defense against the attack. The circular saw grinding through, starting to make an impression, but it's going to take more than that to give it any real trouble. Oh, look out! Could be barbecue pot! My word, this bit's a robot all over the arena! The armor holding out well against the charge. Things are heating up on the side of the arena there. And that's it, causing damage as it starts to rip into it. Not a lot happening here, the crowd want more action. And it's taken a real battering with that blow. Coming in to pin it down with the ideal pushing weapon there. The steel resisting the blade so far. The circular saw getting closer, can they get in close enough? This is classic Robot Wars. Lifting weapons ideal for pushing things around. Although it looks like you can find a way to damage them too. So keep looking, boys. It's carnage! Devastation! It's Robot Wars! The steel armor giving it some defense against the attack. Heading over to push and tip it if it can. In comes the circular saw. And in it goes! A lot of weight behind this robot are making good use of it to cause damage. No damage that time, hardly even scratching the surface, despite the strength of that saw blade. Tough steel armor, making it harder to cut into, of course. A gentle.